Welcome to Production Expert, my name is Dan Cooper. I hope you're well and having a great day wherever you are in the world. I certainly am as I've got myself a copy of this. This is Harmonix, a new saturator plugin by a brand I consider to be the masters of analog emulation. Yes, that's right, Softube. Now this is described by Softube themselves as a dynamic distortion plugin. Sounds quite interesting, doesn't it? More on that in a minute. But first, let's cast our minds back quickly to 2017. Now this is when Softube introduced Tape, a fantastic tape emulation plugin that quickly became my go-to tape tool. Now Harmonix kind of picks up from where that left off. Similar style GUI, VUs, you get the drift. But is this as well thought out and as well executed as Tape? Uh, I believe so, yes. Let's have a quick fly through the GUI and then we'll run some examples through this. Now we've got five very different flavors of distortion in the middle here that we can switch between solid state, transformer, master, tube, and modern. You can wind in the amount of drive here and adjust the tonal character next to that of this dial. Over on the far left, we've got this very clever DCT dynamic section here, which puts back some natural dynamics that often get sacrificed when we use heavy amounts of distortion. After all, distorting a signal really is just a form of compression. Now over on the far right hand side, we've got some very useful low and high filters, mix blend control, in and out trims, and of course, a preset manager. But I can't imagine many users will be using uh, presets as Harmonix is an incredibly easy plugin to use. And it's a lot of fun as well. So how does it sound? Well, let's try it on a couple of tracks in this grunge rock mix. Starting with drums, what tonal possibilities does this thing have to offer? Let's find out. Start with solid state. And let's push the drive exaggerate it for this example. Transformer. Master. Tube. It's a little bit quieter. Let's bring it up. That's nice. Modern. Quite aggressive this one. Let's keep going around. Let's just uh, drive the input over here. Oh, that's nice. Excellent, right, let's have a little play around with this DTC dynamic section. Underneath the control it says increase to preserve transient content. Let's keep it on modern because this sounds to be the most aggressive out of the five. And let's have a little play with the DTC to hear if we can put back some of those natural dynamics of the drums. Wind it the other way. Interesting. Sort of feels like a transient shaper plug in this. Okay, so let's apply harmonics to a few other tracks in this mix, being the bass guitar, submix of the electric guitars, and lead vocal as well. So let's bring in the bass. Oh yeah, this definitely needs a little bit more aggression. Go for solid state. Oh, that's nice. Maybe take a little bit out of the low. We drive the input a little bit. That's nice. Try it with the drums. Brilliant, let's incorporate the electric guitars now. Let's 
go all out, go for modern. And very quickly try this on the lead vocal as well. Let's put it on tube and I'm gonna drive it quite hard. See what it can do. But now I know what I need to do. I know that I don't need you. No. I had a limit to know I didn't want it now. I know what I need to do. I know that I don't need you. No. definitely does something nice to the vocal. To find out my full verdicts on harmonics by Softube, do click the cards at the top right of the screen or the link in the description below. Hope you guys got something from this. I'm Dan from Production Expert and I'll see you again soon.